Hi everyone, I wanted to demonstrate really quick the masking technique as it's used on greeting cards. Masking is a great way to add dimension to your card without actually using any type of foam tape or any sort of um, die cutting. You're actually just stamping directly on the, the cardstock, but you're creating the look of a crowd of uh, images in, in the scene. And this could be used with flowers, um, leaves, um, little animals. In this example today, I'm going to show you an example of how to mask using these pumpkin stamps. The first thing you'll need is some masking paper. And there's different companies that sell different masking papers, but it's basically all the same type of idea. It's a piece of paper that has a slight adhesive on the back. It's not, it doesn't, it won't stick to your cardstock or anything like that. Um, but it has a peel away backing. And it's just a very um, light repositionable adhesive like that. And what you'll want to do is you want to take your, your stamp that you want to use for masking and you want to stamp it on the masking paper and then cut it out with your scissors. And I'm going to demonstrate it using just a regular acrylic block. You could use your Misti, any other type of stamping platform, whatever works best for you. But um, I just thought I would use the acrylic block so you can see it kind of close up here. So I'm going to stamp one of these pumpkins like this. Now it depends on which of the images that you want to be in the foreground or in the background. So what I like to do, since if I don't know what I'm quite doing yet, I will go ahead and stamp everything onto masking paper and trim it out and then go ahead and make my decisions as I'm making the card. So it's always good to have extra masks on hand to kind of, you know, move things around and, and figure out how you want your design to be. And the great thing about using masking paper is that you can reuse the masks over and over again. So you could actually save the mask in with your stamp set and then you're ready to go for next time if you want to make a similar card or um, or, the, or even the same card, I and mean, you can just um, reuse your mask. So now that I've stamped it on here, I'm going to go ahead and trim it out. I like to use just these small uh, cutter bee scissors. And you want to trim fairly close to the uh, stamped border. So, and then if there's some kind of a, you know, like in this case, there's like a little curly cue here. You just kind of want to go around it the best you can. Okay, so you have your two masks. And then next you want to just... I, for the sake of time, I'm just going to stamp a basic like row of pumpkins. But you can create your scene and kind of do your other things on your card. But when you get to the area where you want to stamp out your, your image, and in this case the pumpkin, I'm just going to show you how you can go ahead and mask that. So I've got my ink here. And then you want to take your first stamp. And you want to think about which image do you want to be in the front? So I'm going to choose this pumpkin to be in the front. And what that means is I'm going to stamp it first and then I'm going to mask over it. And I'll show you what I mean in a, sem in a second. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp the pumpkin right here in the front. So then I'm going to put this pumpkin here, I want to be stamped so that it is looking like it's behind this main pumpkin. So I'm going to switch out my stamps. So I've got this on here like that. And then I'm going to peel away the backing from the pumpkin that matches the image that I just stamped from my masking paper. And then I'm going to place the mask directly over the stamped pumpkin like this. And you want to get it as best you can over the top of it so you don't get any little shadow images. Okay, 
So then this pumpkin, since I want it to go look like it's going behind this pumpkin, I'll show you what I do. So then you wanna just add some ink and then you wanna stamp this pumpkin over the mask. So kind of get it where you want it to be in the picture or in the scene and stamp it just like that. And then you wanna peel away the mask that you placed over the original pumpkin. And look at that, it's like magic. And you can continue to do this as much as you want. You can do it across the entire card and it'll look really good. And then you can add all your coloring and do everything afterwards. Um, I will show you one more pumpkin on the other side and we'll just do the same thing. So you just wanna place this over, you wanna make sure it's kind of going right within the, the lines there. Okay, make sure it's done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the same pumpkin that I did on the other side. And place it kind of where you want in the scene. And then go ahead and stamp down. And then the fun part, you get to peel away your mask and see what it looks like. There you go. So this is a great way just to add dimension without having to use a lot of foam tape or anything else. And it's a lot of fun to do. And you can try it with, with flowers. It works really well. It's one of my favorite things um, to do with, with flower stamps. But um, this works really well too with the pumpkin. So masking is something you definitely should try.